Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at an interesting new offering from eWeLink. Recently we looked at how Home Assistant is now available in CarPlay, but not everybody wants to be into Home Assistant. Yes, I know, strange, isn't it? And that's where eWeLink is now offering their eWeLink application in CarPlay. By leveraging their Sonoff routes, it allows them to use the Sonoff bridge, such as the Sonoff Bridge Ultra, to link Sonoff devices or many other matter-enabled devices into their ecosystem, then to control these through scenes in the eWeLink application that is made available within CarPlay via an eWeLink Advanced Plan. Outside of Apple HomeKit and Home Assistant, this is the first alternative manufacturer I've seen that offers this functionality. So let's take a look at what the offering is, the development roadmap for the future, and how we can implement this. So first up, let's talk about the requirements. To get this advanced functionality, you're going to need an iPhone, obviously. An EWI Link advanced plan, which costs $9.90 US per year, so it's super cost effective. I'll assume you already have the EWI Link account and app, which is super easy to install and create a user account. Links in the description. Now you'll need a Sonoff bridge. Now we can deploy everything from an RF route to the new Zigbee Bridge Ultra, which packs a dual core CPU, one gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, and supports 256 devices at up to 200 meters. With the Sonoff Bridge Ultra, most importantly, you get Matter support, meaning that you are no longer limited to only Sonoff devices. Check out the link in the description for a full list of supported devices which are rapidly expanding for new Matter devices. Now the EWI Link Advanced Plan offers some great features. You'll get CarPlay integration, which is worth the money for this alone. A cast feature that allows for specific smart dashboards. Access to the browser-based version of your EWI Link account for access and control plus ease of setup of your scenes and automations. You get keyboard shortcuts allowing for quick access to scenes and devices. Love it or hate it, IFT does give some great automation options. For those larger installations, the advanced plan expands the capacity to 100 users, with corresponding increases to all limits for home, scenes, rooms, and devices. For more advanced users, using webhooks, you'll be able to integrate with other apps and services. You'll get the ability to use Android phones as a security camera. And finally, you'll get to watch your live video from the RTSP stream from vendors such as Hikvision inside of the EWI Link application. For a simple view of the upgrades the advanced plan offers over the free account, see the reference in the link in the pop-up above. EWI Link has already been very busy with their development in this area and are planning to add support for matter temperature and humidity sensors along with contact sensors in version 5.6. Now if you've not already paired your iPhone with your car, check out this link in the pop-up above for instructions on how to do this. Now on your iPhone, open the settings. Swipe down from the middle of the screen. In the search field that has now appeared, type CarPlay. Select CarPlay. Now select your car that you have previously paired. Press Customize. Scroll to the More Applications at the bottom. Press the plus to the left of the EWI Link app. Now use the hamburger to the right of the EWI app to move to the location you wish to appear in your CarPlay screen. And you are done. Now one of the great features of the advanced plan is that it allows you to access your EWI Link account from a browser. Navigate to web.ewilink.cc. Select account. Select your country code. Enter your email address and password that you log in your EWI Link account with. And press login. This will drop you into your account home screen. On the left hand menu you get icons for home, scene, cast, firmware updates, and settings. Select scenes. Now set up some scenes using your devices. Now before we can access these scenes from within CarPlay, we need to define which scenes we wish to display. By default, there are no scenes that will be displayed. Open the EWI Link application. Go into your profile by pressing the profile button in the bottom right. Press go to edit. Press the plus next to the scene that you wish to display. Press save in the top right hand corner. Your scene selection has now been saved and will be displayed in CarPlay. Moving into the car. You should now see the EWI Link application in CarPlay where you placed it. Select the EWI Link application. The scenes that you have selected to be displayed will now show up. 
In my example, I have a Sonoff ZB Micro controlling the power to a Sonoff Cam Slim to act as the privacy shutter, as it doesn't come with one as standard. So I have two scenes, one to turn off the camera power and one to turn on the camera power. If I press the turn off camera, I can see in the EWI Link application, the ZB Micro turns off and the camera becomes unavailable. If I press the turn on camera, I can see in the EWI Link application, the ZB Micro turns on the camera and after a few seconds, the camera becomes available. Now, full disclaimer. I am not invested in the EWI Link ecosystem, but do use Sonoff products extensively due to their great build quality, performance and design. Links with discount codes in the description. I am an extensive Home Assistant user, so I get the same functionality from their CarPlay application. However, for those of you that don't want the perceived complexity of Home Assistant, but are invested into Sonoff products and love the idea of using the promised matter compatibility between vendors, then this is a great option. It's cost effective with very minimal cost for the advanced plan, offers access into some great products, is under constant development and is super simple to implement. So if this is the ecosystem you wish to invest in and are looking for CarPlay functionality, this might be the ecosystem for you. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Consider hitting that like button, subscribing and joining the ever-growing community. And if I've helped you, then consider a super thanks or a coffee. It's really appreciated. Until the next one, keep your eyes on the road and your automations local.